my best bet, I've got Sixers and Hawks over. And right now in the market, that's 235 and a half. I grabbed this at 233 and a half. It's up to 235 and a half. Uh, I will tell you, I will go ahead and like this at pretty much any number that you're going to get it at because I've got this projected way, 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 way over. <laughs> I have this in the 250 range, uh, which seems excessive, but it's just built off of what the numbers spit now for how these two teams have performed in the half court. Um, there's a little bit of, of trend here too, where the Hawks this season are six, four, and one to the over the 76ers this season are seven and four to the over. So we have two teams that have beaten expectations on the market towards the over. Um, we see overs uh, consistently, as I mentioned here on tournament game nights. So point differential matters. So every team's trying to one, keep it as close as possible for, for uh, point differential. They don't stop. And two, they're trying to put up points at the end of these quarters. They're going like, there's been a lot of buzzer beaters because guys are, are not waiting to preserve their field goal percentage. Coaches have told them to put those shots up. Now, those, those shots aren't going to go in them very often, but what we are seeing is we are seeing increased scoring. So when I got this number at 235 and a half, um, I think it's a really good spot to grab the over on Sixers and Hawks. I can see the Hawks putting up, I can see the Sixers putting up like 130 on their own on the Hawks, given how the interior defense looks um, and their ability to kind of get out and transition. But this Hawks offense is pretty competent too. And the Sixers have allowed a, a few spots of teams being able to get points up on them. So uh, I like the over here, 233 and a half. I like it 235 and a half or whatever you're going to find in the market. Yeah, and especially if we can get some positive regression from Trey Young from the shooting side of the rock, then this should fly over. I tweeted out yesterday that Trey Young is Trey, Trey Young's points prop has been right around that 25 and a half point number and he's gone under an 8 of 10 to start the year. He has been absolutely abysmal from 3 shooting under 30%. And if 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 he can get going in the spot that maybe Maxi could give him some motivation on, on that side of the rock, it should go over, but I love how Hunter's playing. He's been awesome. I love his game. There's so many guys I wish I could just pluck from situations and just save them and just put them in different in different teams, different situations, and just watch how much they would impact. And he's one of those guys for, for Atlanta, similar to Caruso. There's, there's a, a bunch of guys you can, you can pluck out of, out of different clubs or, or around the league, and um, he's one of them. But, yeah, also, Philly looked super sluggish the other night against the Celtics on that back-to-back. -back. This is their first game on the road in a while they played yeah. i want to say i don't have it in front of me it's like six or seven games straight at home so i think it's seven straight games at home this will be the first game on the road in a while for them the that i think Derek white and boston woke them up a little bit yeah if i if, if it would have to be an over for me or nothing trey young shows up and can get going this could fly over yeah so this is uh seven and four the sixers have gone over their team total and they've allowed the opponent to hit their team total uh, in six of 11. So we, we've got a pretty consistent trend here where the Sixers, even when they play pretty good defense, are still letting teams hit over their, uh, their team total. So like that spot.